The internet has changed the scale at which people and machines can collaborate. Before the internet, most collaborators had to be close by to work together. Now the cost of collaborating with anybody anywhere in the world has been reduced to almost zero. New global systems, almost like a global brain, are now routinely able to solve problems, combining the communication and number crunching capabilities of computer systems with the creativity and high level cognitive capabilities of people. Just consider the wealth of information gathered by the Wikipedia. The galaxies discovered by Galaxy Zoo. Or the reams of OCR tasks solved by ReCapture. And all this is supercharged by the emergent generativity and robust evaluation that can come from the many eyes of large crowds of people. Today, we only poorly understand how to program this global brain. We have some stunning success stories, the Wikipedia, ReCAPTCHA and some others, but most applications still fail and require some highly time-intensive refinements. And because people are involved, programming this global brain is profoundly different than programming traditional computers. Unlike computers, people are self-interested and therefore require carefully designed incentives. Anything from money, fame, and fun, to altruism and community, to perform tasks and prevent them from gaming the system or causing outright damage. In addition, people vary across many dimensions in the kinds of tasks they can do well. This implies qualitative differences in how we can expect to match tasks and resources in a global brain context. People, in contrast to computer, are prone to a huge variety of bewildering and idiosyncratic behaviors and deviations from rational as well as accurate performance. The global brain therefore calls for quality assurance oriented toward these kinds of human behaviors maybe tapping into the large pool again of people in the global brain. How can we effectively program a global brain? We believe that a fundamental requirement is developing powerful new programming metaphors based on both social and computational processes rather than traditional computing that more accurately reflect the ways people and computers can work together in the global brain. An operating system in the context of a single computer manages the allocation of hardware and software resources such as memory, CPU time, disk space, and input-output devices. A social operating system, in contrast, in addition to doing all these things, will also have to manage the mustering and allocation of human resources to tasks. This will require fast, robust infrastructures for contracts, payments, or other motivational elements as well as scalable task to resource matchmaking such as markets. These will be challenging problems because people, unlike hardware resources, are extraordinarily diverse, as we mentioned already, in their motivations, capabilities, and possible error modes. Conventional programming languages are, out of necessity, fully prescriptive in describing the algorithms to be executed in exhaustive detail. Such languages are often not a good match for specifying tasks with human participants. Programming languages for the global brain will therefore have to support a frontier of specificity of varying degrees of details and task specification. At one end are highly specific microtasks linked into static workflows. Somewhere in the middle are collections of constraints and goals that humans will find their way through in order to achieve those goals. And at the far end might be mere task specifications in the terms of, go of goals that those people will have to try and find all by themselves. In addition to that, the global brain programming language will have to expand the range of abstractions that are available. In addition to the things such as loops, recursions, or forks, we may need things such as 
group decision processes, error correction mechanisms, and or collaborative steps to expand these ranges in order to program the global brain. Finally, programmers will need to develop new mindsets about things like what's a program and what's testing and debugging mean. They'll need to become not just software architects, but organizational or even societal architects, able to think systematically about things like motivations, coalitions, emergence, and so on. Perhaps most fundamentally, they'll need to move from a perspective of command and control to one of coordinate and cultivate societies of diverse and independent people. Our world is faced with both existential threats of unprecedented seriousness and huge opportunities. We believe that our ability to face the threats and opportunities of the coming century will be profoundly affected by how well and soon we can master the art of programming our planet's emerging global brain.